Gate Award was founded in 2000 on the premise that most international brands would want to branch out and deploy their website in Asia with perfectly located and translated e-commerce platform. Today, with over 300 employees representing 40 nationalities, our company is a leading multilingual digital production agency working across all industrial sectors. In a short time, China has become a key player on all matters relating to the Internet. For these reasons, we are very pleased at the opportunity to partner with China Connect. This year's speakers and roundtables will make it a very exciting event for all digital and marketing professionals, hoping to gather a little insight on China's next big trends, and we hope that our presence and intervention will contribute in a useful manner to the debate. So now, let's talk about the search panorama in China. <coughs> so first, I would like to go maybe on Weibo to give you some ads that you could find in November 2013 to give you a little insight of what is going on now in China, this very dynamic search area that we cannot find, unfortunately, in Europe. Because in Europe, we have only Google, or mostly Google. So look at this one. Bietangle, Tapu Aini. This ad is made by 360 search engine. It means, don't wait for him. It doesn't like you. <coughs> of course, he's speaking of Baidu. He's saying, when you search on Baidu, it takes a long time. It's normal. 360 is better. So now, let's look three days after, on November, on Weibo, the answer of Baidu. Bietan Le. Fan It means stop. We are fed up with all your pop-up. So the answer of Baidu is, OK, 360. You are an antivirus program, and we are all fed up with all your pop-up. So shut up. But with the same picture. So maybe we can think 360 was more innovative. Let's look to another one. Fang Bian. Tai Shi Yin Tao Li, which means practical. In Chinese, practical Fang Bian is the same as toilet. Toilet, practical, is very important. So it means to search on 360 is as easy as to go to toilet. It's obvious. There is no question. Let's see the answer of Baidu. Same, three days later on Weibo. <coughs> stealing happy. You were stolen, but stealing happy. So Baidu is saying through this ad, that 360, with this antivirus program, is stealing some data to the Chinese user without their permission, and is using this data to build also its search engine. So you see, it's quite aggressive between Baidu and 360. And we will, see, we will try to explain this morning why this fight is going like that. So, Let's go back to 2012. I know it's only 18 months ago, but as you can imagine, in the internet calendar, it's like one, one century ago. So Baidu, at this time, had a monopoly with 81% market share. And you cannot see 360. Worldwide, still in 2012, Google is, of course, the first with 65% market share. And Baidu is the second with 8% market share. Now we will see 
maybe it changed. So I will let my partner Stanislas present Baidu and its new development. Okay. So let's talk about Baidu before going to the main event, uh, arrival of 360, uh, because everything is moving quickly. And we would like to come back uh, six years before and have a look on how was the page when you were searching for me on Baidu. Here is a hotel in Shanghai. You can see the page is very uh, boring. And the main point is that there are only paid links. There is no uh, picture, no text, no SEO results. So for the brands, uh, it's not interesting. And it was quite hard to be visible uh, properly on these websites. Now let's have a look on what's happening now today. This uh, picture was taken yesterday. There is visibility, uh, good visibility for brands. You can see pictures, video, links, different type of contents. It's not boring. For a user, it's very interesting because you can access different kind of information. And for the brands, you can really express the brand. So we change it. So let's have a look on the details. What can a brand do on Baidu? So Baidu is providing many spaces that allow the uh, brand to be visible. Uh, first, you can defend your brand. You can, by using your name, uh, we'll see details. And second, you can conquer new clients. Uh, and raise awareness. First, defend your brands. They, are, they have created, a long time ago already, what we call a brand zone. Brand zone is a space, I suppose many of the brands we call in here are already, uh, already using brand zones. Uh, it's a space where you can advertise when somebody is asking for your brand. You can have brand zone on PC, you can have brand zone on mobile, on video, on image. Uh, it's very efficient when we started to use it a few years ago. We had very, very good results and it's still working properly. The, the, the percentage of usage, people are clicking on the ad is very high and the quality of the visits you have on the web websites are very high. You have the best visibility you can have uh, by when somebody is asking for you, for the brand. Uh, and I would like to add the same thing on Google. They have been very creative and everybody is following us. Uh, except Google. So, you have another point, Biker. Biker is a Wikipedia. You can sponsor your page and you can adapt it. And people who are looking for information about you, they have exactly what you decide to put and to be, uh, to, to, to be visible for the users. Now, uh, you can conquer new clients and be visible when somebody uh, is looking for a keyword which is linked to your field. Uh, there are different spaces. And mini zone is the most interesting one, I think, and very I mean, used. It's used by many brands already. You can buy for a keyword a space. When somebody is searching for this keyword, you have an ad with a picture. Um, there is also flash ads. It's uh, instead of having the normal ad, if you're number one, you have pictures and video. So as you see, Baidu have been very creative, much more than any other uh, search engine in the world. They, are, they have been very interested in giving more space to the brands. Of course, you don't have to pay. And it's quite expensive, and it's getting more and more expensive. So just a few brands that are using uh, Baidu today, Brandzone, for example. There are only a few here, but there are, most of the brands are using now uh, Baidu, Brandzone, Minizone, Videozone. What is interesting is that uh, Baidu is increasing their cost, and it's more and more expensive, and they are less and less flexible on the way they sell the spaces. So, uh, after Baidu, uh, sorry, I put the wrong one. After Baidu, let's talk about 360 and the event that happened in 2012. Can we just take the panel? <laughs> Thank you. So, 360 so swap. So, in August 2012, Chiho 360 technology launch a new search engine. <coughs> Look at that, in 18 months. So in three months, they gained 10% market share, and in 18 months, they reached 25%, which is huge when you think of the 500 million internet users in China. At the same time, Baidu lost 21% market share. So 
So how did they do? Look now in Q3 2013. Google is still the first. Baidu the second. And now you can see 360, number four. And they are going to be soon number three according to many surveys. So what we are trying to do this morning is to find out how did they do in 18 months to gain, to gain so many users. The first thing you have to know is that first it's an anti-virus company, the number one in China, with over 95% penetration rate. Then they have the internet browser, number two in China. Free, same as the antivirus. Both are free. And then we have the portal, what they also call a web directory. We don't have quite the same in France. Number one, with 400 million daily page views. and the search engine that they have just launched. So two free, and with the portal and the search, they can win money. Look at this web directory service, very famous in China. Even Baidu is on the directory. So it's really a large panel where you can find all information with a daily unique visitor of 126 million. Another thing you have to know is 360 had a little search tool on this navigation portal that was powered by Google. They had also some partnership with Baidu for some search query. When Google left China in 2012, 360 decided to build its own search tool and to leave the partner with Baidu. So they launched so.com. So in Chinese means search, but they like to say also that in English, it is two words for safe and open. So now we have to concentrate. They win 100 million internet users in 18 months. With one big fact to know, security, safety. They tackle Baidu on this side. Because they say we are an anti-virus company, we are specialized in safety, in security. So we know how to deal for all these issues. Baidu doesn't know. And they find an example, very smart example, I think. Medical, medicine, drug. They say, look, in Baidu, you can find many fake drugs, fake medicine. And you know, in China, the booming was so quick that they couldn't develop maybe at the same time for some safety rule. So there is many issues for the moment about food, medicine, and drug. That will be resolved, but for the moment, it's an issue. And they made many screenshots with many queries to find that in Baidu, you could, when you are looking for a medicine, finally, you could find a fake product, which even could kill you. So they tackle Baidu on this side and they succeed because of their initial positioning. Second point, always on this side, is the president, the CEO of 360 said, I will never let anyone buy any keywords about medicine because I think this area cannot be paid. It is so important. So you see, he used this way to show to everyone that he's not thinking only about money. He's thinking about safety, about Chinese citizens. 
which is very important in China. Concerning the option, the technical option, Baidu has many, many options, as you see before, even more than Google, like the mini zone or things like that. 360 is new, so for the moment, there are only four options, and they are developing other options quite quickly. Because we look six months ago, and we saw only two options. So they are quite, quite quick. Another point to know about 360 is the price, as Tan said. They are cheaper, cheaper than Baidu. Of 72% for the cost per click. Also the bread zone, the bread zone is cheaper. Of 68%. Concerning the user profile, what is the difference? There is one difference. 360 users are younger by 8%. But you also know that in China, the users are also younger compared to other countries. So it means they are still younger. Concerning the difference for revenue, there is no significant difference. It's the same between the three main Chinese search engines. So we cannot say any conclusion about that. Just say that the sources, the sources of this page is from the third search engine. So who is advertising on both? So the major brands are advertising on Baidu and few are beginning to do it in 360. Same. We look at that six months ago and only two major brands were advertising on 360. So it's going quite fast. So now I will let Stanislav speak about Sogo, the third search engine. So we talk about the two first search engines, uh, but we have a third one which is growing quite quickly. So let's have a look on what's happening. So Wu is now having 13% in China. It was uh, has only 8% one year ago. So it's a big increase, and uh, we are going to try to explain you why. So at the beginning, you had uh, Google, So Wu, Baidu about two years ago. 360 was using uh, Google, as we can say. Google started to, I mean, they decided to leave China. So 360 replaced uh, Google by their own search engine. Like one year ago, maybe less than one year ago, 360 tried to buy Sogu. Uh, didn't work. And at the end, Tencent bought Sogu. Tencent is a, one of the biggest uh, internet companies in, uh, in China. So they have a lot of money. So now we have three main groups fighting all together. And you can see through the image that we saw at the beginning that it's really a, a real fight, not only on search, but on all fields. Browser, antivirus, and everything linked to internet, they're fighting. And I think it's going to be very, very interesting in the next few years to see what's uh, going on in China. So, uh, fact sheet. There are not many things to say about Sogu. Uh, it was created in 2004. And it was merged to Soso -So because Soso -So was in uh, uh, was owned by Tencent uh, in 2013, and that's the reason why they went from eight to thirteen. So Soso -So had disappeared. It's still working now, but they are using uh, uh, Sogo. Uh, they ha they have strong market share on mobile, and they are quite innovative. One of the innovation is when you type for, Chi uh, for Chinese. I, th I think it's very easy to understand. Maybe for Western people, it's a bit more complicated. When you type Chinese sign, you use letters, Western letters. And you have a box, and they propose you different signs, and you choose. On the box, uh, the box of Sogu is much, it's working much better than a, a Windows box. So people are using this box, and you have the search engine on the box. So it means that when you're typing something, you can easily search something with the box. So that's a very innovative point, which was very interesting and used in China. So, so, so increase uh, their market share because QQ is using uh, Sogu as their search uh, box. 
So uh, QQ is one of the first, I think it's the second uh, website in, uh, in China. QQ is owned by Tencent. So, so, so as, merged, as we said before, and you have this small box which is bringing a lot of traffic on, uh, on Sogo. So let's have a look on the products. Uh, it was created in 2004, so you have more product than in 360 and less than in Baidu. But I believe in the few next year, because they are really competing, they will propose many things to brands. They are much more creative than Google at the moment. We believe that when we look at what's happening in China, it's moving quickly. And I believe that if we have the same chart in about uh, one year, you have much more product to use. So we talk about the two, I would say newcomers, but I said two challengers, but, and Baidu is decreasing, but Baidu is still the leader, is still a strong leader. First, let's have a look on turnover. We can see that Tencent, which is owning Sohu, the third uh, search engine, is the biggest company in, in turnover. This is for three months uh, turnover. Baidu is about half, maybe more than a half of Tencent, and 360 is, very, is, is big, but very small compared to Baidu. And these three companies are going to grow and they are going to fight. But Baidu, still leader on search. So if you look at uh, awareness, Baidu is definitely the most uh, well-known uh, search engine. What we can say is Google is still strong, even if it's not working properly in China, and it's decreasing. We have, I think, uh, market share is less than 2%. And 360, which is growing, and I would say the, the, uh, the challenger leader is not as well known as Sogo, because it's very new as a search engine. So this is important, this is an important chart. When people are typing, uh, they are searching, they think about Baidu first. They still think about Baidu first. And they are using 360, I would say, as a second choice, or they are using 360 because they are on the page, on the navigation page they have with all the links. So the, the, the way people are, are looking for something is they go to Baidu first, and then they go to somewhere else. So they can go to Sogu, and I told you what, because in the box you have, uh, you have the, the small uh, area, the small uh, area to look for uh, search. Uh, on, on Google, I think it's decreasing, it's not working properly. So you, are, you go directly to a Hong Kong website and it's not stable. Okay, last point about search. I think mobile is the priority at the moment in China. If we look at the searches you have in China, uh, people are more looking on mobile than on desktop today. And it's, this chart is one year ago. So it's not, now if we look at what happened, here is how the new internet users are coming to the market, how they use internet, and what they used to, to see internet. Most of the newcomers, new users, they are using their uh, mobile. So mobile is going to grow, and today, if you talk to Baidu, if you talk to 360, they say that every, I mean, they are developing, they are really trying to add new products to develop new uh, software for mobile. So this is their priority. Uh, I don't know what they are going to say because they, don't, they never talk about their products before, but what they say is we have to be prepared to see new products. So, so what? So what? I would say for brands, uh, first, you, ha you must be kept, kept informed because it's moving quickly and there are a lot of opportunities. And usually when you have a new product, they propose it for a very cheap price and it's a good opportunity to have a nice visibility for a low, for low cost. So look at market share of, uh, of uh, search engine because it's moving. If, uh, if 360 is reaching 35% and they said they will do, then it means that you have to shift some budget from Baidu to, uh, to 360. And we hope it will happen because competition is good for brands. Baidu is really strong and it's hard to work with them. Uh, 360 is much more, uh, I would say, easy to uh, to talk to. They are very flexible, they are very open to a specific format, they, they are very reactive, it's much easier to sign a contract, it's much easier to pay them, because they are challengers, they make efforts. Baidu is tough, but it's a leader. Evolution is uh, return on investment. Uh, of course, if you do a business, if you spend one euro, uh, one yuan, how much you earn, you must follow that because it's changing a lot. And Baidu is getting more expensive, so you have to compare on your field which one is the most uh, interesting. And it's possible, it's not Baidu, it's possible it's 360. 
because it's less expensive. Uh, they have new products, new developments, new challenge, especially on mobile, so keep it, keep be informed. When they open the brand zone, it takes for most of the brand like one year to use it. But during one year, we could not see any brands on brand zone. And if, if you look at 360, there are not many brands going on it, and it's working pro perfectly. We, we are using it, and the results are quite good. And of course, what, is, what are the other brands doing? Uh, I believe it's interesting to see if somebody, everybody is moving on one side. So you should modify your strategy in front of, uh, in front of those different change. I would say 360 would be interesting to use. Uh, as it is three times as expensive and they have 25 market share, I would say 10% of the budget might be reasonable. You can try. If it's not working, then you can stop. But I think you must try, at least try. Baidu is still a must-have, but the cost is growing, 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 and we don't know when it can stop. Every year we think they cannot go further, and every year they go further. So the cost of Baidu will be a problem, I believe, in the next few years. Investment of mobile and strategy on mobile is a key point. You must, I think, have a different strategy on desktop and mobile, and to split the money you, you, you spent. And of course, all brand zones are very efficient to protect your brand. And we know in China, we have two problems. There are fake makers or on a, any <coughs> field, and you have gray markets. And you must be visible, and you must you know, show your brand properly in front of those, uh, those uh, fake makers. So the brand zone can be worked. You have to be creative. You have to propose designs. It's very interesting uh, to use it properly. And at the end, we let uh, Alexandre find you some other uh, ads, which are quite fun. Thank you. So just to finish, let's see the new ad on Weibo. This one. Teacher Faming Jotian. Ni Jonan Sian So 360 is saying before the invention of the automobile, you could only ride a horse. Meaning, before 360 arrived on the market, you could only use Baidu. The answer of Baidu, same, they always use the same image. Baidu, Chateau, Chulai, Jotian. Nijunan, Pei, Suanzhe, San Yoling which means not very original. Before we create the Baidu new antivirus, you only could use 360 antivirus. Another one, I think, funny one. Meijan Tutue, Jota de Kwaigan, which means nobody refused the pleasure of a direct search. Even the stair want to take the lift. And the answer of Baidu. Lan Tieni Mei Shangyang. Blocking you? Game over. The deal is off. Because 360 has blocked some internet user to use Baidu software. They went too far, too far on the wall between them. Not only an ad, but they, without the user permission, they block them when they want to use some Baidu software. So Baidu is saying, you went too, too far. Game over for that. For that, that's real, because even the Chinese government had to enter in, into this issue and to block this 360 decision. Baidu also did the same and, and the government stopped them. Another one. It's 360. You can see the Baidu animal, the bear. Even in mosaic, every Chinese people can, can understand it's Baidu. Baidu Jodao. Shei Gong Kwai. Even Baidu know who is the quicker. Even Baidu use 360. And the last one. Show Golema. Laona Mien Fei Tong Hong Je. You are fed up. 
fed up with these products that you think are free. It means, of course, the antivirus is free in China with 360. But you have to buy some option to make it better. And also, you get many, many pop-up and information the Baidu says stolen, but it's maybe cookies and things like that, that are taken from your antivirus. Just to finish, I would say that Tongwo the Chuang Xing Nangli, He Huoli, Shen Shen Te Ta Tongle Woman, Woman Put a Pu Pei Fu, Ke Ti Le Ting Pu, he Zhen Cai Kai Fa De Chan Xin Pin. Cui Ho, Woman Yao Tai Piao, Lord De Karayong, He Woman Ce Ti, Gan Xie Cai Tuo, Mei Wei, Yao Ti She, Wei Le Jie Ce Huo Tong, Tsong Tsong Guo Yuan Tao Ar Lai De Peng Yao, Gan Xie Ta Tia De Nai Xin, China's innovative technology and its dynamic have truly impressed us and we can only admire the technological advances in China and new products being developed. Finally, on behalf of Lord de Carayon and ourselves, we would like to thank everyone, especially those who have made the trip from China to be here today and to listen to us so patiently. We hope that you enjoy our presentation. Thank you. Thank you for your presentation. I have one question. At one point, you said that Baidu and uh, 360 were more creative than Google. Um, do you have like some really precise examples? Is, is for example, did Baidu or 360 do something before Google, or is Google copying something? Or um, it's interesting. It's a very interesting question, so it's hard to answer. Uh, I think at the beginning, Baidu was copying Google, and they still uh, copying some product. But the way they they, they split uh, the search engine a bit different. I was saying in front of the brands because we we are an agency which is working with the brands. There is much more possibility to be visible when people are searching us. The product they propose are more creative than Google. Yes, on this specific field, which is interesting uh, most of the brands. So, uh, but of course, I mean, Baidu is following Google on many things, like the interface to build management was very simple like five years ago, and now it's almost the same. Uh, and every time Google is moving, Baidu is following. But on, on some specific field, they are more creative. Another one, another thing which is interesting for 360, if you, they have a, th a special, um, how can I say that, uh, software, if you click two times on CTR, then you see things going out. And because they are fighting together, they find some small details which make, uh, make things much easier. The box on Sobu, when you type signs, is creative, more creative than Google. But it's very specific to China, so we cannot say, uh, uh, we cannot say Baidu is only more creative. We said Baidu is following, but on some fields, because they are, they are fighting in China, they create products which are uh, very interesting, and 360 is doing the same. So who is doing the same? And the competition is so hard, not only on search, but on different fields, that I'm sure we will discover new uh, fields, new uh, software, new tools, which will be very interesting. Thank you. Good morning. I'm uh, Marie Guillet. I'm a reporter for magazine uh, Marketing and eMarketing.fr. Uh, you said Baidu was cheap. Um, 360, sorry, was cheaper than Baidu. If I'm a brand and I want to go on these markets, what kind of budget am I looking at? Can you give us a small idea? Thanks. Uh, search is very good because you can spend uh, 10 yuan or 5 million yuan depends on what you are. I would say that. Uh, we should reverse the questions. What can you do with the money you can spend? 
because I think search is really the, the best investment if you want to have a qualitative traffic on your website. It's not the only investment, but it's a very inter interesting investment. But some customers, they have very small budget and they want to try. They want to try to test different things with slow, slow budget. And after, they see how much they earn with what they pay and they can increase the budget uh, properly. So some brands are spending millions of uh, euros or dollars um, and sometimes more than that. And some brands, they said, my budget is 2,000, what can you do with that? And we try. So I, I don't think I can really answer your question. Depends on the, depends, it's a bit management, so it's, uh, if you spend money on your brand, it's very cheap because you're protected, they're, they're not competition. If you buy uh, the word uh, uh, cream, cream for the face, then it's very expensive because you have L'Oreal, Lancôme, uh, Estee Lauder, and all the co uh, companies fighting to have these uh, keywords. So there is no ideal budget, there is ideal usage of a budget. Also, go uh, on this kind of competition on mobile, uh, and or is it like Tencent, who or so uh, is a very uh, big uh, big share, uh, like uh, who uh, leads the market on mobile? Uh, it's uh, thank you very much for your question. It's a very generic question. Uh, it's hard to answer precisely, and I would say we would need a complete presentation about mobile. As you know, it's uh, there are many products and there are many things they are doing. Um, so, for example, the mobile brand zone of, of, uh, of uh, Baidu is not as uh, old as the desktop brand zone. They, they propose this new area for, I think, two or three years, something like that, and we don't have it on 360. So, I'm just talking about the, the very basic screen on mobile. Uh, they are going to fight and to develop many tools around the mobile. How to find a place? How to? They make things easier for people to 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 uh, work with only a mobile. So now, what they are, they have done and what they are doing, they, there is a list of things, and I cannot explain that now. But sure, it's very interesting to see what they are doing because Asia, not only uh, China but Japan or Korea, it's a mobile uh, market. It's a mobile market more than Europe. Uh, so, so maybe next year. I will, uh, I will do a specific presentation on mobile because it's a very interesting field. I just wanted to have this small point because when you talk about search, if you don't talk about mobile, you're, if you don't say mobile is the priority, you, I don't do my way properly, but I could spend um, like two hours talking about that. And, and also, uh, sometimes they will launch a specific product just for mobile. It's not so.com who is adapted for mobile, for 360, it's laid down. L -E -E -A -L. So there is some new search engine only for mobile, for example, developed by 360. So it's a big, big subject that uh, we could develop uh, next time. Okay. Um, no, but, uh, Hi, I just have a quick question about the inventory of Baidu and uh, Soho in 360. Uh, I wanted to know if they are available through the ad exchanges in China. Ad exchanges. And if it's possible to buy inventory uh, on the ad exchanges or if we have to buy directly via 360 or, or Baidu. Uh, Leong is working, uh, is a Chinese guy. Of, uh... I'm trying to understand the question that means uh, you're asking if we have, we have to buy the ad directly from this company or there is the ad exchange we can buy it? Right, because I work at, in a trading desk, so I want to, to read Chinese inventory. And I'm just asking if we have to to work directly with 360 or, or Baidu, or if we could you know, buy impressions and clicks through the ad exchanges. Uh, as for the words, we work directly with this uh, uh, company. 
but uh, there's always a, a possibility you can find that exchange in the correct ways uh, by the or 360 because they proposed the API to, to, to interpret ways. Yeah. Yes, there's product analysis. Maybe uh, we can talk about this uh, specific topic and we can ask them directly today if you want. We can call them this morning and uh, just, just check. Uh, Okay, and a question? Sure. Okay, the last question maybe. Hi, um, I'm Adrian working at uh, 55, and uh, I have a question. Is there a possibility to create and spread uh, ads on all search engines at the same time? Like if you want to have a unified uh, marketing strategy on all search engines? So, for example, in uh, uh, Europe and uh, Western uh, um, countries, you have a uh, marine software or, or uh, software like that, helping you to uh, create and share uh, ads on all the search engines at the same time. Is something like that uh, existing in China? Or? I would say that all I would say Western tool like uh, Omniture, Search Center, or other tool, uh, they are working. Most of them are working now with Baidu, not properly, but uh, they are working with Baidu. I think 360 is very new. And Cebu is not as big, so I believe today I don't know any tool which is working for both. Uh, and it must be uh, checked uh, one by one. Every technology must be checked. So if you talk to Adobe on, a, on, a, on Search Center, uh, it wasn't working five, four years ago, and one day they said it's working. And it's working now. So maybe we should check uh, one technology by one technology. Today, when we launch a campaign in China, we launch manually on different search engines. We don't have one tool which is uh, uh, leading the three. And, and they, are, they, they are not very open to that kind of thing today, but probably it will move. Okay, thank you. Branislav, on ne pas trop refuser. Branislav Piri, Korea. Uh, do you think that uh, Baidu is still prevailing in the tier three, tier four cities, like the smaller cities compared to the to the Beijing or Shanghai? I mean, are there differences in the market share compared to the geography that you're talking about in China? I mean, China is so big compared to Europe. So uh, comparing, for, for instance, France or Bulgaria wouldn't make sense. Of, of course, there are big differences. Uh, uh, you have the three main zones like uh, Beijing, Shanghai, and uh, and South China around Hong Kong. And it's very different compared to the eastern part. So you can work uh, locally in China uh, because it's so big that. So we talk about globally, uh, globally uh, uh, China, but it's there is such a huge diversity in uh, in in the people, in the way they talk, in the language they use. Like you have Shanghainese, and uh, so so there is no one China. In fact, there are many Chinas, and every re I mean region is very different. And for example, when people don't have, I mean, they, they are coming from the uh, west part of China, they are mostly uh, using a uh, mobile phone because they have less income, so when they are left in income, they have only a mobile, they don't have their stop. It's an example, but there are many like that. Uh, and we cannot say there is a big difference yet between Baidu and 360 for the penetration rate. We don't have this survey uh, actually by, by the two. 